The Vermont Special Olympics held their events at Pico Mountain this year. Peg TV's Alex Brownell stopped by to check out the winter races. This is our Winter Games for Special Olympics Vermont. It's one of four major games that we do throughout the year. Um, and here we have many uh, events. We have snowboarding, we have alpine skiing, Nordic skiing, and snowshoe racing. And all together there are athletes and teams from all over Vermont, 21 different teams, 198 athletes performing over these two days. And then on Wednesday, it is our Unified Champion Schools Unified Snowshoe Racing. And on Wednesday, we'll have an additional 98 athletes from eight different schools competing together. This is Special Olympics 50th anniversary. Throughout the years, this organization has skyrocketed into helping these athletes feel like the best versions of themselves and to connect and make friends outside of this organization. One of the things I want to really emphasize is that Special Olympics, this is our 50th anniversary. It was begun in 1968 really as a dream of Eunice Kennedy Shriver to really bring people with intellectual disabilities out of the closet. This was a time in the 60s when this population was often institutionalized and certainly not well understood. So her dream was to bring sports and athletes together. So now, 50 years later, we are growing into what we consider a global movement for inclusion. And we're seeing the power of sports, not just to transform lives and people, but to bring people together, to break down barriers, and to build inclusion in our culture. Special Olympics does a lot more than working with athletes with their sport of choice. They also look after their entire well-being and health. There's so much more than sports to Special Olympics that I personally, this is only my sixth month on this job and I'm loving every day and learning more. We have a, a, a health program, Healthy Athletes. So at our fall and summer games, we also do health exams, uh, eye exams, audiology, dental, nutrition, physical therapy. And we've recognized that there are a lot of undiagnosed um, and untreated challenges that many of our athletes face. So we're really, when you look around the globe, the largest public health organization for people with intellectual disabilities. And we see sports and fitness as part of that health, but we go beyond that. We also believe in helping to, um, I guess, empower our athletes through our uh, leadership programs at schools, but also a global messenger program helping our athletes tell their stories and really help change attitudes. We spoke with Sean Fahey, an athlete that does more than just competing in snowshoeing. He is Vermont Special Olympics Global Messenger. Global Messenger is basically like a spokesperson for Special Olympics. And I did the training at Smuggler's Notch. I was just, and as soon as I got my first standing ovation there, I was just like, maybe this is something I want to keep going with. And there's never been a dull moment where I gave my speech and never got a standing O. Sean believes that everyone who is a part of Special Olympics is family. Once you start Special Olympics, you become family. And the best thing is, you can go to any country, ask them, hey, where's the Special Olympics program? Someone's going to open the door for you and say, come on in. Next week, we take a closer look at Unified Sports and the positive impact it has made on the kids in our community.